Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how you can add your own tracking counter or other JavaScript to Magento. Easily. That's the word which we've missed out on the front of this one. It's easy. Yeah, it's very, very easy to do. And with that said, we're going to jump across to Magento and show you how. So Dave, I've not actually gone across to Magento. I've gone across to the add this site. And what we're going to do to again, to give you like a real life example of why or how you would use this is that on the addthis.com site, you've got some social sharing buttons, which you can appear as a section on the left hand side or the right hand side of your website. Now we're going to cover that in this tutorial, but we are going to use their code as a reference. So I'm just going to grab their JavaScript. Now, this JavaScript could be your own tracking code. So maybe you're not a big fan of, say, Google Analytics, for example, and you prefer one of my personal favorites is a website called statcounter.com. And you want to use their tracking code and you don't want to go editing any of your files. You just want the easy route to do this. And again, if you can manage copy and paste, really easy to do but for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to use add this because it's a very simple one to show you it working on the magento website now with that said let's get across to our magento admin okay and just to prove that we are not cheating there's our magento website here in the background i've just hit refresh and there's no sidebar and ink appearing in here just yet we need to go across to our magento admin area so go to your magento dashboard and then from the top menu, go to system, down to configuration. And Dave, while it's loading, I've forgotten the section which we're after. Which one is it? <laughs> oh, system design footer. There we go. Okay, even we forget from time to time. So we want design. So over here on the left-hand side, underneath the general tab, where it says design, click into design. And the section which we're after is the footer section. So I've got a couple of these expanded out and we're after the footer row. So click onto that row and where it says miscellaneous HTML, okay, this is where we're gonna paste in our script from addthis.com, where you could add in your own JavaScript. Now, really simple to do press save config at the top. Now, Dave, I am actually just going to show one extra step here because that will work on our website, but it won't work on everybody's website, which is watching or your website, which is why you're watching this tutorial. And the reason for that, you may have the Magento caches enabled and you may also be using a full page cache extension. So I am just going to show one extra step, which is that if you go to system, then go down to cache management, then on the left hand side, click on select all. Oh, actually I've disabled it. I don't have full page cache on this install, but if we did, then it will probably be an option in our caches. So we've hit select all on the left, and then we're gonna press submit on the right hand side. Okay, now that will take a few moments to go through. And now let's go back to our Magento website. I'm gonna right click and hit reload. And of course you would go off now to your Magento website and then go and hit refresh or reload. And ah! Did you just see that pop out in the left hand side? Yep. <laughs> That's why I chose this as an example is because it's a very visual one. It takes a few seconds and it will just pop out from the left hand side. And also it's a practical example, Dave. So we don't need to pay a developer X amount of pounds to go and add this in for us. There's a pun in there, add this for <laughs> add this. All right, but it's really straightforward to do. If you've got the code, you need to add it. Maybe it's some A-B testing script from say Optimizely, one of my favorite A-B testing tools. Maybe it's an external tracking code or maybe it's some social sharing icons like this. Very, very simple to do, really can't go wrong. Paste the code in, press save, and remember go into cache management, into system, cache management, clear out your caches, go to your Magento website and then check that the JavaScript's working. Oh, Dave, the other reason why you might want to do this is for live chat. So something like Zopim. Oh, and my personal favorite, Olark, is one of the live chat systems which I actually pay for. They are code. You want live chat on all your product pages or all on your website pages? Paste the code in there. Really simple to do. No extension was added. No code or any nerdy stuff was harmed during the making of the tutorial. <laughs> it was copy and paste easy. So there's a couple of different examples there for you. If you would like to know more how about add this, or maybe the live chat modules, or anything more about Magento, then you can find me and Dave 
over at understandthenee.com or find us on YouTube. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.